have a surprise for you. Victoria, for your hand in marriage, I'd cross oceans. You're funny, Tristan. Oh, Tristan, a shooting star! I'd cross the wall and I'd bring you back that one star. You can't cross the wall. Nobody crosses the wall. Excuse me, have you seen a fallen star anywhere? We're in a crater. This must be where it fell. Yeah, this is where I fell. You're the star. You're the star? Really? Oh, wow. You've seen stories of magical worlds, <laughs> wicked witches, <laughs> flying pirates, and dashing princes. But never has there been an adventure quite like this. Everyone's talking about a fallen star. When I find out, the glory of our youth shall be restored. This is the part where you tell me who you are and why you're up here. We're just trying to make our way home. Touche. You better be telling the truth, you two-faced dog. I can get you one of them, actually. Very good guard dogs. They can watch the back and the front door at the same time. Enough. Where's the girl? You have seconds to live. Now we shall begin. Yeah! I know what you are. Get him. Not for long. Hold me tight and think of home. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And this review is going to be on Stardust, which was released in 2007. And the film stars Claire Danes, Charlie Cox, Michelle Pfeiffer, Mark Strong, and Robert De Niro. And the film is based off the book of the same name by Neo uh, Gaiman. I think that's how you pronounce uh, his last name. But the film was directed by Matthew Vaughn. You know, Matthew Vaughn, he directed uh, the first Kick-Ass film, which I really enjoy. Uh, he also directed uh, the Kingsman films, you know, Kingsman the Secret Service, which I love. Kingsman the Golden Circle, which, you know, was good, but not as good as the first, uh, in my opinion. And he also directed uh, the Kingsman, uh, which was released a few years back, which was the third installment of the uh, Kingsman films, which when I first saw it, I thought it was okay. But the more I thought about it, you know, it's not that good of a film, in my opinion. You know, The King's Men. But Matthew Vaughn, he uh, also uh, wrote the film and he uh, co-produced the film. And this is one of Matthew Vaughn's underrated gems, uh, in my opinion. I really uh, loved this film. It's a lot of fun. It's a you know, good uh, fantasy film. And basically uh, what the film is about is uh, Tristan, who was played by Charlie Cox. This is Charlie Cox way before uh, he was uh, Daredevil, before he played, you know, Matt Murdock, Daredevil in uh, the Daredevil series, which I am looking forward to seeing Charlie Cox, you know, reprise his role as Matt Murdock, you know, in Daredevil in uh, Daredevil Born Again. Cannot wait. But uh, Charlie Cox's character, Tristan, he's a young guy. He is from this town called uh, Wall, which is in England. It's a fictional town. And this town is on the border of a uh, fantasy kingdom called Stormhold. Like there is a, a wall that's bordering uh, the town of the town of England, you know, that wall town and the, uh, you know, kingdom of Stormhold, 
which is this magical kingdom. So Charlie Cox's character, uh, Tristan, enters uh, Stormhold to collect a fallen star to give to uh, this woman that he really likes, uh, Victoria, played by Sienna Miller. And, you know, he really wants to uh, marry her, but... She ends up having a boyfriend, Humphrey, who was played by Henry Cavill, a very early role uh, from Henry Cavill. So pretty much, basically, you know, she wants, you know, to uh, marry uh, Henry Cavill's character. But, you know, Charlie Cox goes all out to uh, retrieve uh, and collect the, the star. But the star is a woman named Yvonne, who was played by Claire Danes. So he ends up uh, meeting Claire Danes and he collects her and there are these others that are hunting for Claire Danes' character, Yvonne. You know, there are these witches, you know, one of the witches is played by uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and also uh, the Prince of Stormhold who is played by uh, Mark Strong. You know, they want, you know, to uh, get to Claire Danes' character. And Charlie Cox's character, Tristan, tries to get uh, Yvonne Claire Danes back to uh, woe with him before, uh, you know, Sienna Miller's character, Victoria's birthday. So pretty much that's basically, you know, what the plot to the film is about. But I really enjoyed this film. It had a very good story. It was highly entertaining. I really enjoyed uh, the chemistry between Charlie Cox and Claire Danes' characters, you know, very, they're both very likable. And also Michelle Pfeiffer, I thought, you know, she did a good job playing uh, Lamea, who was uh, the witch. So it was good to see Michelle Pfeiffer in it. Mark Strong plays uh, Prince Septimus, who uh, is the last surviving son of... Uh, the Dying King of Stormhold, played by Peter O'Toole. And you see, you know, the ghosts of uh, the sons, uh, which, uh, you know, very uh, nice uh, CGI done on, uh, you know, the ghosts. And Septimus, you know, being the last surviving son, he needs to find uh, the stone, which is worn by you know, Claire Danes, because she is, you know, the fallen star. Claire Danes' character wears, like, this uh, stone, you know, on her to claim uh, the throne. So uh, Mark Strong's cat, the Septimus, learns that Claire Danes has the stone, and he realizes that uh, Claire Danes' character, uh, heart, grants immortality. And... You know, we get the uh, the backstory of uh, Tristan Charlie Cox's character, where uh, Dustin uh, Dorn, who is played by uh, Nathaniel Parker, and he ends up, uh, you know, going over uh, the wall because there's a guard uh, that prevents people from going to uh, Stormhold, and he ends up uh, going over the wall. He ends up meeting. Uh, Una, I think that's how you pronounce uh, the character's name, who is a princess. And, you know, they end up uh, getting to know each other. They spend the night. And then nine months later, the guard by uh, the wall delivers a baby to uh, Dustin. And that baby is named uh, Tristan. And then it takes place 18 years later. We see uh, Tristan as Charlie Cox, you know, all grown up. So, how, uh, you know, Claire Danes' character has uh, this uh, stone is uh, the uh, Dying King of Stormhold, played by Peter O'Toole, throws a ruby into the sky. And he ends up saying that his successor will be the first of his sons to recover this ruby. And the gem hits a star, and both of the... Uh, both of the ruby and gem end up falling out of the sky, landing in Stormhold. And that is where we get introduced to uh, Claire Danes' character. So how Charlie Cox's character, Tristan, ends up meeting uh, Claire Danes. Uh, he ends up receiving a Babylon candle that uh, his mother uh, left uh, for him. 
And this Babylon candle can take uh, anyone to any desired location. So Charlie Cox ends up lighting it, and he's transported to the fallen star. And that's where he meets uh, Claire Danes' character. So, but overall, like I said, very good story. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Robert De Niro plays uh, Captain Shakespeare, uh, the uh, Casperitine, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's the name of his ship. Uh, Robert De Niro plays, uh, you know, the captain of the ship that he ends up capturing uh, Claire Danes and Charlie Cox because they were, you know, in the clouds and they were captured by pirates in a flying ship. And the flying ship, you know, looked cool. And Robert De Niro ends up telling, you know, his crew that uh, Tristan, Charlie Cox is his nephew and uh, Claire Danes' character, Yvonne, is a uh, friend. So, I really like uh, the whole scenes, you know, with Robert De Niro and Charlie Cox and Claire Danes, where he ends up giving uh, both of them new clothes, and he ends up teaching Charlie Cox's character how to fence, and he also ends up teaching uh, Claire Danes, you know, how to dance. You know, very uh, cool, uh, nice scenes with Robert De Niro, and he is very good in the film. And... The film also is very good looking. It has very uh, good CGI, which holds up uh, to this day. And how the way uh, they did it, like the visual effects, uh, it required 830 visual effects shots, which were supervised by Peter uh, Chang and produced by Tim Field. And the pirate ship, uh, set was shot against a green screen, which when you watch the film, you could tell, you know, that was shot in front of green screen and they end up uh, CGI in uh, backgrounds and they extended the size in the bow of the ship. And it says some distant shots of the ship were entirely done in CGI. So, but also I really liked uh, the, uh, the effects done on uh, Claire Danes. You know, she has, you know, a, uh, a glow effect because uh, she is a star. And that required uh, more than 80 shots, uh, as it says here. But very nice uh, glow effect uh, done on Claire Danes. But overall, Stardust, very good movie. An underrated gem from Matthew Vaughn. It's one, uh, it's a film to check out. And... You know, if you enjoy uh, fantasy films, you know, this is obviously one, you know, you got to check out. Uh, Claire Danes is also doing a uh, British accent uh, for her character uh, in the film. Uh, you also get a uh, narration uh, by Ian McKellen uh, in the film. So it was good to, it was good to hear uh, Ian McKellen do, uh, you know, the narration uh, in the film. But when the film came out in August of 2007, it came in fourth place uh, that opening weekend. It earned $9,169,779, an average of $3,610 per theater. And uh, Rush Hour 3, of course, came out uh, that weekend. And you all know that Rush Hour 3 was going to be was the number one movie that uh, weekend. So it earned a total of 137 a uh, million twenty two thousand two hundred forty five dollars worldwide and it made thirty eight million and UK it made thirty one uh, million so it had a budget of seventy to eighty eight uh, million dollars and like I said it made 137 million at the box office so it was a uh, good hit at the box office so not many people uh, talk about this film but Stardust, very good movie, really enjoyed it, loved it, uh, good effects, good CGI, you know, the story was very enjoyable, Charlie Cox and Claire Danes uh, did a very good job as the two main leads, you know, good seeing Robert De Niro uh, in it, uh, you also have uh, Ricky Gervais and Rupert Everett in the film, Michelle Pfeiffer, I thought, you know, she did 
you know, a good job playing, uh, you know, one of the witches, uh, well, me, I think that's how you pronounce the character's name, Mark Strong, you know, he has hair here uh, in the film, but, you know, we're so used to seeing Mark Strong in, uh, you know, his films, you know, you know, bald with no hair, but he has hair in this film, but he did a good job as uh, Prince Septimus. So, but definitely check out Stardust. Highly were recommended. An underrated gem. But anyway, that's it for my review of Stardust. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And I will see you all later tonight for SmackDown. So, see you all then.